foreground and background. The proper context is a requirement for consciousness or awareness of anything. For example, we will not be aware of a black cat on a black rug in a black room with the lights off at midnight. The same cat is easily visible on a white rug in a white room at noon on a sunny day. So everything has a proper context, and this context is the key to its real meaning. Every word, symbol, picture, sound, gesture, facial expression, experience, action, perception, sentence, discussion, feeling, idea, and intention exists in some context. When we hold it in the wrong context, we miss the real meaning and become confused or frustrated. When we hold it in the right context, we see the real meaning and have an aha moment, a moment of insight into reality. For example, everyone has an experience of school. If we try to hold that experience in the context of learning, it doesn't make sense, and we feel confused and frustrated. But once we read or hear John Taylor Gatto, we get that we should actually hold our experience of school in the context of a social control mechanism. Aha! Now it all makes sense, and we can understand that if we want to become wise, we have to take responsibility for our own education. Similarly, if we try to hold our experience of life in the context of the ordinary materialistic understanding, it doesn't make sense, and we feel confused and frustrated. But if we hold life in the context of skillful living, we will have not one but many aha experiences as we get insights into the real meaning of our existence and activities. Similarly, all learning should be held in the context of acquiring a skill. Acquiring skillfulness is also a skill in itself. When we want to read a book, we hold it up to the light. Why? Because we can't read in the dark. We need the context of light to see the page. Similarly, if we are having trouble understanding or applying a subject, it is because we are holding it, or parts or pieces of it, in the wrong context or in the wrong relationship to the other parts. Finding the right context is both a science and an art. The subject of context will come up again and again as we go through the materials on skillful living. If you already can sense its importance and want some advanced training, we will have links later on to our source materials. But everyone can understand the difference between foreground and background, content and context. If you can't get something, then try putting it in another context. So here is the first principle of the science of learning. If you feel confused or frustrated about learning, understanding or doing something, you are holding it in an inappropriate context. The rest of this video gives some practical tips on how to resolve contextual problems while studying. Knowledge of skillful living is very scientific and precise. To transfer this knowledge to you, we must find a way to define and communicate precise concepts. So the first area of content and context is in the definitions of terms.